Welcome back to Hi Mama's online activity hub. My name is Kaya and I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama headquarters. For today's activity, we're going to be creating a really cool art activity. This activity has a really cool process and the after effect actually shows up really cool as well. For this activity, you're going to need some shaving cream, some food color, some skewers. Just make sure you cut off the ends that are pointy if you're working with small children. You're going to need some cardstock paper and we'll need a surface to do this activity on. I've got a, a tray here. You can use a baking tray or a bin. This activity can be expanded into going into the sensory um, domain as well because you're using your fingers um, to move the shaving cream around. So if you want your kids to continue playing with the materials after they've created the art, then maybe getting a bin might be, might be better off than a tray. All right, so let's get started with this activity. This is gonna be a really cool one with the process. It's gonna practice the children's fine motor skills by using the skewer and the pincer grasp. So using the first finger and the thumb to hold the skewer to move our shaving cream around. And it's gonna use their imagination as well because they're gonna to have to move the colors around and they can watch what happens when you blend the colors together, um, creating from primary colors to secondary colors. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take our shaving cream and we're going to put it in our tray here. So I've got my white tray ready to go and we're just going to squirt a lot of this into our tray. And this is the kind that you need to um, rub around to get all foamy. So this is the really fun part for kids too is like putting their fingers in it, feeling the cold shaving cream and watching it get really foamy. They could probably spend hours doing this. This is why I said this is kind of a sensory art activity too. All right, I've got my shaving cream in there. It's getting all fluffy. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add some food coloring to our shaving cream. So this part here too, the kids can help squeeze out the shaving cream, or sorry, squeeze out the food coloring using the droppers. Luckily only a few drops come out at a time and this is the really fun process for them is adding the drops to the shaving cream and perhaps adding a couple different colors to create a marbling effect and watching them blend together to see if a new color is created. So we'll add a couple drops of blue to start. Okay, and then I'm going to add green as well. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is take one of our skewers and the child can do this part and just swirl it all around and see what happens. Do the colors mix and blend together? When you're mixing them up, do they create a new color? This is the really cool part is watching the colors blend together and create this like wavy line tie dye effect. So once the children are happy with a new color they've created, the marbling effect they've created. The next thing we're gonna do is take our cardstock. We're gonna place it on top of our pile of shaving cream here. So gently press it in. And this is our canvas here. So the child can help you press the cardstock in. We're going to peel it off. Whoa, and we've created this marbling effect on the paper, super cool. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry overnight so that the sh shaving cream starts to harden and then you can hang it up. Really cool process. And as you can see, some of the blues and greens have mixed together to create a new color or a new shade. And uh, the shaving cream really gives it some texture by making it like 3D almost, super cool. Show us how yours turned out and let us know what you think of this activity. And thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye.